Hey everyone, it's Eric, and as you might have noticed, the background has gone all green and white for St. Patrick's Day. I kind of miss the tropical uh, background back there, but uh, the, this year is just flying by so far. You know, we're almost at St. Patrick's Day, and then it's Easter, and then the next thing you know, we'll be at Summer Sass. It just goes by so fast, you guys. Uh, tell me about it. So to kick off the St. Patrick's Day theme in the background with all the green and white, I thought we could do a Goose Creek candle review today on this green grass and apple. So it has a really pretty green wax. Ooh. And I just thought this would be a fun one to start off with. Your scent notes on this are apple, pear, lemon, and spring grass. And you do get a lot of that fresh green spring grass smell in this. And then there's the apple. And it almost smells like there's some of that apple skin in there. Like it's, it's a crisp apple fragrance with a lot of this fresh green grass fragrance. So very, very springy, you guys. Now, I always like to compare my apple fragrances or apple candles to my all-time favorite apple candle from Bath & Body Works, and that is Apple Weather. This is my ultimate favorite apple-scented candle, you guys, and I kind of judge all apple candles to this because I love this candle so much. And if you've never had Apple Weather, uh, hopefully they'll bring it back this fall. They, they, they've had it out for quite a few years now, but it smells just like you're at a apple stand in the fall. <laughs> it smells just like that, like you are in this room full of apples. It's just an amazing, amazing candle, and I highly recommend that. Check that out this fall. Uh, so I always kind of judge the apple fragrances to that. Now, apple weather has a fall vibe to it, where this Goose Creek green grass and apple smells very spring, which is great. So it's nice to have an apple fragrance for the spring, especially one that doesn't have any cinnamon or clove in it. It seems like, you know, candle companies always throw cinnamon in there, clove, or pumpkin, you know, because it's usually a fall fragrance. Groundbreaking. So it's nice to see something like this out for the spring. So let's give this a burn and see how it performs. All right, so let's talk about this green grass and apple, you guys. This is a powerhouse candle. It really can fill up a room. Oh, that's quite fabulous. So I, after I lit this candle, I would say within 20 minutes, I was already starting to really smell it through the lower level of the house. It's filled up the family room. It's gone everywhere down here on the first floor, and it's traveled up the stairwell behind me into the hall. So it has some range. Powerhouse candle for sure. So you get a lot of apple on this. It's a tart apple, kind of like a Granny Smith. And then there's this fresh grass scent in there, very green, fresh grass smell. So it's a nice springy apple fragranced candle. Uh, so nice to have this for the spring, you guys, because most apple candles to me remind me of the fall. And this one has a great spring feel to it. So very happy with this candle, you guys. It has a really uh, pretty green uh, wax pool and Actually, while this was burning, uh, I went onto the Goose Creek website and bought another one of these just because this this is a powerhouse candle. I love to shop a lot. I really like the apple scent it has. It's fresh, it's crisp, it, a little tart. Just perfect, you guys. What a wonderful spring apple candle to have. So if you have green grass and apples, please leave a comment down below of what you think of it. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.